Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can install Java on our Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we are going to check whether Java is already pre-installed on our Windows operating system or not. The check is very simple. You just need to search for CMD in your search bar and then open the command prompt. And here just type Java space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter. And if it says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, that means Java is not installed on your Windows operating system. So let's move ahead and see how we can install Java. So for that, open your favorite browser and search for Java download and, the, and then you will see few results here. So here just scroll down where it says oracle.com. So we are going to download and install Java from oracle.com. So just click on the link where it says oracle.com forward slash Java forward slash technologies forward slash downloads. I'm going to click on this link here and then I'm going to just scroll down a little. And here you can see at the time of making this video, Java JDK 23 is the latest version. And you can see you can install Java on your Linux, Mac OS and Windows operating systems. I'm going to select Windows operating system here. And I want to download this installer, which is 64 bit MSI installer. So I'm going to click on this link in front of MSI installer, which is going to start the download of this JDK 23 Windows 64 bin.msi file. So once this MSI file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this file and let me minimize my browser. And it's going to prepare the installer and open this kind of Java SE development kit setup window. So here on this first window, you just need to click on the next button. And this will be the location where Java will be installed on your Windows operating system, which is inside your C uh, drive. And then there will be this uh, program files where there is a Java folder and then it's going to install this uh, JDK version in that Java folder. If you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. When you click next here, you might see this kind of warning which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I'm going to click on yes here, which is going to start the installation progress. And after a few seconds, you will be able to see that the Java development kit setup has been finished here. So once that's finished, you can see a uh, click next step to access tutorial api documentation and developer guides so if you want to see uh, those tutorials or developer guides you can click on the next step button otherwise if you don't want to do that you can click on the close button also so let me click on the close button that means java installation is finished so let's check whether java command is working on our windows operating system or not so once again, we are going to search for CMD in the search bar and open the command prompt. And we are going to give the command Java space hyphen hyphen version here. And then this time you will see some kind of output instead of this command is not recognized. So you can see after the installation of Java, it says Java 23.0.1 is installed on our Windows operating system. Now some application also requires the Java home environment variables to be set on our Windows operating system so that they can use the location for our Java installation. So let's try to set the Java home environment variable in our Windows operating system. So for that, just search for environment on our search bar and then you will see this kind of result. You can just write few letters of environment and you will see this kind of result which says added the system environment variable. Click on this result. Here click on the environment variables button and then under user variables for your username, click on the new button and then give the environment variable name which is Java underscore home in our case. Just uh, type the exact same spelling in capital letters, Java underscore home. And the variable value will be the path to our Java JDK folder. 
So for that, we can click on our folder explorer and then click on this PC and then go to your C folder where you will see the program files folder. So just click on program files here and then you have this Java folder here and under Java folder, you will see JDK 23, which is what we have installed. So just click on this path and then this is the path you need to copy. So it's uh, C program files, then Java and then whatever Java version you have installed, just uh, go inside that folder and then copy this path until the JDK and the version of your JDK. And then the value will be this path for the Java home. So once you are done, click on OK. And then once again, click on OK. And then click on OK. So now Java home is set on your Windows operating system. So to check that, let me just close this command prompt and open the new command prompt window. And here you just need to type echo space percentage java underscore home percentage and then press enter and it's going to show you the path of your java jdk folder which is jdk hyphen 23 in our case so we have successfully set the java home environment variable also now let's try to compile a java program and see if everything is working related to java compilation on our windows operating system or not so for that, we are going to create a Java file. So I'm going to go to my folder explorer and then go to my documents folder where I have created this Java apps folder. If you don't have this uh, folder, you can create any folder of your choice with any name. And here we are going to create a new Java file. So for that, first of all, you can click on view here and then click on show and then you need to enable this file name extension option here. So if this checkbox is there in front of file name extension, that's okay. If it's not there, just click on it once and then file name extension will be visible. So when you right click here and then click on new and then click on uh, the text document here. And let's say I want to give the Java file name as hello world here and then the extension will be instead of txt i'm going to name my extension as dot java and then press enter it's going to give me this kind of warning so i'm going to click on yes and you can see this uh, hello world dot java file is created right so once this java file is created i'm going to open it with the notepad but you can open it with uh, any editor of your choice for simplicity, I'm just showing the notepad because it comes pre-installed with your Windows operating system. Here, I'm going to just paste a very simple Hello World Java program. The important thing to note here is that this class name and the file name should be same, right? So my file name is Hello World and the class name is also Hello World here. Here we have one main method where we are using system.out.print line to print hello world. Once that's done, just save this file and then close this file and then copy this path here. And then we are going to open the command prompt. So just uh, search for CMD and then click on the command prompt and then write CD and then paste the path which you have copied for your java apps folder right so our java apps folder is here so i'm i have just copied this path here so cd and the path in which your java file is there and then to compile your java file you use this command which is java c command right not java command but java c command and then the name of your java file which is hello world java in our case now let me uh just move this uh, command prompt and this folder side by side so you can see the generation of output inside this folder explorer here. So when I press enter here for this command Java C and the Java file name is going to create the output of uh, my Java file, which means it will compile my Java program and create the executable file for me. 
and the executable file name is hello world dot class, right? This is the output of my Java program. To run this, I just need to uh, use the Java command now. So just write Java and then hello world. You don't need to give this dot class extension. You just need to write Java and then the hello world without any extension and then press enter and it's going to print the hello world output. That means Java compilation and Java program execution is working properly on our Windows operating system also. So this is how you can install and set up Java on our Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.